Today, I wanted to do a really simple but effective video to show you what it sounds like to run a buffer before your fuzz. You've heard it many times, don't do it, it's wrong. Don't put buffers before buffer sensitive pedals like certain fuzzes, treble boosters, waz, there's a couple of them out there. But what does it actually sound like? What does it actually do to your tone? So today I'm gonna take the most common a fuzz and I'm gonna show you what it sounds like to put the buffer first, not recommended, and after, recommended, in your signal chain and the results. Now you'll actually be able to put a sound to that description of no buffers before fuzzes and you'll be able to know what people are talking about. Hopefully this helps, hopefully it makes sense. Let's get into some audio examples. You can see here on the desk, I have the fuzz here. What we're essentially saying is that we want to run guitar into a buffer. There's the output here. And this will go to an amp. What we're going to do today is flip these around. So now we're going buffer with the wireless bypass here into a fuzz, into an amp. This is what they sound like. First, best practice. I'm curious what you heard there from the audio examples. Which one was thinner? Was one a little bit less defined? What one had more full bottom end and attack? It's interesting to hear the difference such a simple pedal can make like a buffer before or after a buffer sensitive pedal. But now you can put some actual sounds to this conversation and bring a little bit more of your own personal experience to it, hopefully after this video. I know this one's been short, sharp, to the point. We got there though. Buffer sensitive pedals, it does make a difference. Put what you heard below, the difference between buffer before and buffer after a fuzz. We'll see you next week for another video on the Goodwood Audio YouTube channel.